Chapter 9 Data Handling Abu, there are too many things to work with here. Could you please help me? Sure, Priya. Today, let's learn data handling. Data means any information. Data handling means sorting the information according to what is available. Let me explain that further with some examples. Here comes an image. As you can see, the scenery is drawn from the basic shapes we have already learned about. If you do not remember their names, here's a link to the video. All right then. The image here is the data that we have. Now, I'll put forth a few questions which have to be answered using information from this image. First question. How many shapes are there in this picture? Let's identify the shapes first. There's a circle, a lot of stars, a triangle, a square, a rectangle, an oval, and another rectangle. Now, let us count them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In this image, ten shapes are used. Now for the second question. What shapes are used to form the tree? This is our tree here. This is an oval and a rectangle. So two shapes are used to form the tree. Let's bring on another image. Wow, it's a wonderful picture, isn't it? Now for a first question. How many red flowers are there in the picture? Let's count all the red flowers. One, two, three, four, five. There are five red flowers here. And now the second question. How many butterflies are closest to the flowers? There are a lot of butterflies here, but the question is, how many are closest to the flowers? So let's count them. One, two, three. There are three butterflies are closest to the flowers. Now let's take another example. Hmm, there are a lot of objects here. Let us count the number of balls. Phew, this needs a lot of concentration. Let's mark them as we count the balls. Okay, so let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven balls here. Okay, now let's go on to the next question. Let's count the different vehicles. One, two, three. There are three different vehicles here. Third question. How many color pencils are there? Oh, this one's really easy, isn't it? They're all together. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six color pencils in this image. Now for the fourth question. How many times is a butterfly next to a flower? Hmm, this is a tricky one. Let's see. Let's do this together. Here, there's a butterfly, but it's not next to a flower. So let's ignore that one. Hmm, let's go on. Oh, here we have one. And there's a second one. Now here's there's a flower, but without the butterfly. So we'll ignore this one too. And we have a third one here. So there is a butterfly next to a flower. So that's three. Three times in this picture. Now for the fifth question. How many balloons are there near the teddy bear? The teddy bear is right here. There are one, two, three, four. Four colorful balloons next to it. So the answer is four. Great, so we got all of it right. So now, did you understand how data from an image is identified, gathered, and handled? You can even practice this at home. 
Take any picture from a newspaper or a magazine. Try and identify the different objects in the image. Note their colors, positions, and their number. Practice can make you more observant and you will not even miss the minutest of details. We'll see you guys soon. Have fun practicing. Bye-bye.